the opposition and crack down on dissent. With elections due in January, Museveni is now facing an unlikely challenger, pop star turned politician of the people, Bobby Wine. Thank you very much for having me, Christian, and pardon me if I look so stressed. Uh, I've just been uh, forced out of three districts tonight uh, where the police officers are not allowing me to sleep in those districts. Right now I'm in Arua and the only hotel that was willing to take me for the night is a hotel where my driver was shot dead and I also survived death on the 13th of August uh, in 2018. But I'm happy to be here. Uh, I am taking this risk because it is worth taking, because nobody else is going to do it other than we ourselves. And in any case, not taking the risk is even taking a bigger risk, because nobody is safe. Those that stay home and keep silent about the enslavement, and we who speak out. That is why I dare to represent my people in this struggle. Well, I was also four years when President Museveni took charge of our country. But like you mentioned, it, the biggest part of our population is under the age of 35. Precisely over 80% of our population is my age and below. These are the um, disconnected young people, the unemployed, the excluded. The, um, they have notes. Our country has been divided into the haves and have nots. So these are the masses looking and searching for a different, searching for better, searching for change, but most importantly, wanting to be free in their country, wanting their voice to be heard. That is the constituency that I am representing. What gives me confidence that we can overwhelm the dictatorship is the history, the recent history in Africa. Um, the young people did it in the Gambia. The young people did it in the Sudan. The young people have done it all through history. That is why I believe that if we stick by the law, if we come out massively and vote, we can be able to overwhelm the dictatorship of President Museveni and for the first time in our life also have a test of true freedom. Well, it is funny for President Museveni to say there's a playing, a level playing uh, field for the opposition. First of all, I was arrested on the day of nomination, on the nomination ground. I was beaten, uh, paper sprayed, and driven straight to my home. I have been blocked from using the main roads by the police and the military. 
just tonight I was denied uh, accommodation from three districts and like I say the only hotel that was willing to take me in is this hotel owned by my friend the same hotel where my driver was murdered two years ago I am not allowed to speak on radio stations the military has literally taken over um, the campaign pro the campaign process I am not allowed to access any town and whenever I try to campaign I am driven in very very remote areas where there are no people thanks to um, the uh, dynamics the way they are because the people especially the young people have had to walk miles and miles to access us the only uh, media that I can be allowed on is social media. That is the only media that we have that we can use to communicate to our people. I, as you mentioned, I have to put on a bulletproof for me to be able to campaign. I have survived two assassination attempts in the last two weeks where bullets have been shot in my car, in, on the tires and in the windscreen. Uh, tear gas canisters are thrown at us every time we are tear gas and brutalized and even shot with live bullets by the police and the military. That is the ground that President Museveni calls labor. Uh, first of all, 